Cinema Classics is sponsored by WCBE 90.5 FM, Columbus, Ohio. Produced by John DeSando, Cinema Classics can be heard online at WCBE.org and Thursdays at 8.01 p.m. I'm John DeSando. I'm Audrey Harkinen. And this is Cinema Classics. Now, Audrey, today we don't necessarily have a classic. We could spend a whole time deciding whether or cinema not classic. it qualifies. Yeah. But this is Cinema Classics, and we'd like to think we pick a movie uh, that may have been important to me or to you uh, and bring, bring it to light for our audience. Because most of the people watching this show have never even heard of this movie. It's called The, the Quick, Quick and the Dead. The Quick and the Dead. Audrey, give them a little idea what it's about. The Quick and the Dead is a very interesting, <laughs> typical Western genre <laughs> film um, from 1995. Right. Okay. And it um, it, it is the usual storyline, usual tropes of uh, the Western, and um, it's the a revenge story. Um, as my grandmother used to say, it's a come up in story. <laughs> um, some characters are coming into town to participate in a duel to the death which is sponsored by this um, character who owns, runs, and, and is a, um, a villain himself. Um, and from birth, Gene Hackman was made for this role. Well, yes. Herod. How about that yeah, for the name? Herod. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Herod. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't see that. That's interesting. Um, so he owns and runs this town, and for amusement, for money, for whatever reason, he sponsors these duels to the death in this little town. So we've got characters that come in and their stories unfold. Um, during the course of the of, of the of the film, it's not. I mean, it's not a small matter. It's a hundred thousand dollar prize at the end if you could be standing. Yeah, it's a bucket of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So at that time, it should have been at least a half a million now, uh, if not a million yes. by now. Yeah. Uh, so they all come in. They're gunslingers from everywhere. The interesting the interesting thing about Herod is, a lot of these people. Are potential enemies that he can get rid of by having them duel and kill each other. <laughs> right, and he also is surrounded by his own thugs oh, gosh, who yeah. will defend him and run right. them his down voice. in the event that he is <laughs> that he is in any way threatened. Um, if it doesn't turn out well, shoot him. Yep. He's a, <laughs> yep. <laughs> he yep. gets rid of anybody. I, I'm I'm a big Gene Hackman fan, and uh, and this one with that surly smile of his. I just, I just love it. So there's nobody that can be, can be better than he for being smarmy and devastating. <laughs> smarmy is the word. I know, smarmy, right? Smarmy is the you word. You remember him from, uh, I think it was Unforgiven. I think he ruled, ruled the town in Unforgiven. I do believe Very he similar yes. role, I think. Yes, uh, yes. And he eventually quit, I'll bet, one of the reasons being he was in tight cast. And... Uh, He's, he's still alive, I think, in Santa Fe. Yes. But yes. the big star here is Sharon Stone. How about Sharon Stone? Well, one of the one of the characters that comes into town to participate in this duel to the death um, is a Clint Eastwood-like, uh, tall, quiet, you silent think? type. Um, but it happens to be a woman, which is Sarah, Sharon Stone. They even had the Sergio Leone. Music playing. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> and absolutely. She's coming in the first shot from the yeah. distance. Right, right. It's just like the man with no name. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And and you know the cowboy hat that's pulled way down <laughs> over, yes. and and she and she peeks out underneath, <laughs> her eyes peek out underneath the the um, the hat and the cowboy hat, and um, she's and she fights and she um, battles um, like like a man. 
Um, she's not real feminine. She's dirty and dusty, which I appreciate. That but she's able to bet a young man half her age. Yep, she she does that too. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and wh who's well, a young Leo you know, DiCaprio? Oh, you have to see Leo at his is, physical peak. He is delightful. Oh, he, he looks is, like a rock star. Yeah, he is the the um, the, the snarky little kid, <laughs> and he does it so well. Yeah, he He's does. Just just precious. The other person here who hasn't quite made it yet. And this is a, a really uh, uh, tip of the hat to Sam Raimi. Yes. You know, yes. getting uh, Sharon Stone, uh -huh. and she becomes a co-producer. Saw that. Yeah. That, that was yeah. surprising. And uh, is uh, someone who will become a big star. Yeah. Um, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Yeah. Quiet. Um, he is. He is resistant to. He's. He is forced to participate. Preacher. And this, he is converted to um, right. being a preacher because, because he was a partner. Oh, with, wicked! Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, another gunslinger. Yeah. So he doesn't want to participate, and so the dynamics then that this sets up the dynamic. <laughs> um, and there are a host of other people. A minor character whom I've loved who has since died. Pat, Pat Hingle. Hingle. Oh, come oh, on. My gosh. Don't tell me you know Pat Hingle. I do. Oh, I you do. are weird. Yeah. I know. <laughs> from, from I, I have him on my notes. Um, yeah, from um, Splendor in the Grass. He, oh my he's God. been around wow. uh, starting in the 50s. He's always those. Lots big, of TV. Lots of TV, but he's that, that real standard, concrete like character yeah, that you get. Uh, dependable, he, a great. Great guy, chubby with great furrows in his cheek, yep, and uh, and eyes that kind of slope down, yep. And there is something very distinctive about him, yep, as a character actor. Yes, yep. so he's the barkey. He's the barkey, yeah, and uh, the 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 the, broth, the brothel owner, and it would appear. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So Sharon Stone is coming on out of revenge, and she's coming to get Herod for revenge. So we know that the. the Audrey, uh, one of the things I wanted to, to run by you, why isn't this more beloved by critics or others? Why isn't it? Um, that, that's a very, very good question. Um, I think perhaps, um, m I, I think that Sharon Stone may have been too attractive if there had been uh, maybe a, uh, a, a, a tougher looking um, hmm. woman. And I say this because the flashbacks you see that, that build to and explain the reason for the revenge is she is a little girl. She's got a dress on, she's got a doll. Oh, wow. She does not demonstrate that she's going to be a tough, <laughs> well, um, vengeful <laughs> person. That's very had, had she Had she been portrayed as a tougher, um, a, a more a tomboyish girl. I think we would have, I would have found her later character more believable. You know, that's a really good analysis of, her, of hers. I, I think that the, the, the weak, well, not the weakness, but Jesus, she, she's wearing bespoke leathers. I yes, mean, this yes. woman is really decked out right. in a beautiful outfit. With the handgun, with a gun right here, coming up with a white-handled gun, I mean, she looks like a model yeah. for Ralph Lauren or somebody. Well, and you see the flowing garments that she's wearing as she's riding. And if you've ever ridden, John, and I think you have, <laughs> you right. don't ride in flowing <laughs> garments good. like that. Good one. Yeah. So, in my to add to your analysis as to why this isn't a, a better film, uh, or why this is better recognized as a great film, is that the the duels. Are repetitive. True, that is true. Yeah, and I wonder if that isn't part of the reason, or that people don't see this as a comedy. I didn't myself see it. Well, as a is comedy. that too it strong? Was, yeah, that it, it that's makes tongue in cheek, right? Right, right. I think well, and I think what real what really punctuates this, no pun intended, is <laughs> a couple of shots that Raimi does with a gun shot through, first of all, the hat, yeah. and you could see the sunshine through it, and then through the heart, or through the, through the chest, and you can see the sunshine through it, and then finally through, some, through the character's head. Well, you, you're, yeah. You, what else are you gonna expect? This is the guy who helmed the Evil Dead. 
Yes, true. You know, and yeah. then uh, we have him in Spider-Man yeah. afterwards. He's a guy who knows his way around the camera. Right. And you're right, there are some really intriguing shots here. Very intriguing. Yeah, uh, and they're, I mean, they're more like the director saying, see what I can do. But I like that. Yes. I and mean, I like that, and I love all the, the, the eccentric characters. The, the characters that are presented, <laughs> a, a full range, everything from a, a very sophisticated African-American gunfighter to a Hispanic to um, some um, bald guy who's all cut up. I know, uh, right? They're just, they're just bizarre. They're just bizarre. <laughs> and, uh, and I think, well, Leo is over the top as the young man. Uh, and it's no, it, it, we're not, I'm not uh, breaking confidence here with the audience. I'm going to tell you, he is allegedly the son of Harry. Yes, yeah, and that, and that is his revenge story or comeuppance story. Yeah, he wants to be respected by his dad. Yeah. Uh, I just think Leo is delightful in this. Yes, he is. Uh, we will talk a little bit later about some of the tropes of the Western when we get into our uh, uh, double take. Yes. Uh, but, but right now, when looking at this as a part of the Western canon, I put it in my top ten. But I don't know anybody who will put it in the top ten of these critics whom I've read uh, to try to, to, to understand, I just don't get it. Even, yeah. as you mentioned, Roger Ebert, kind of lukewarm to yes, it. Yes, yes. And here's a guy, a humanist, and I don't quite get it, except maybe the repetitive nature, and because they're unwilling to accept the fact that Sam Raimi is playing on all the tropes. Yeah, yeah, don't he's, just... he's, he's exaggerating. He's, yeah. He's being sarcastic. Yeah. He's being tongue-in-cheek. I wouldn't say comedy, as you mentioned before. Yeah, right, yeah. And comedy is... may be too strong. I yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah. I take that it, criticism. It is, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's he he's he's um, having fun at the at the western's expense. All right, Audrey Har <laughs> All right, Audrey Harkonnen. The movie is The Quick and the Dead. What do you advise? See it for yourself and 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 enjoy it for what it is. All right. And it is now on Netflix until June 1st. I believe so. Uh, otherwise, I hope somebody else picks it up along the way. Yeah. Uh, but it is it was fun. It was fun, and for me, it is a classic, because that's the name of our show, Audrey. Yes. Cinema, Cinema Classics. classics.